In 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope was launched into space, ushering in a new era of cosmic discovery. Designed to peer deeper into the universe than ever before, Webb has now made one of its most astonishing findings, a distant exoplanet. Located around 120 light years from Earth, that shows a 99.7% probability of being habitable. This isn't just another exoplanet detection. This could be the most compelling sign yet that we are not alone in the universe. James Webb's powerful infrared instruments allow it to detect even the faintest signals of light passing through the atmospheres of distant planets. When a planet crosses in front of its star, some of the starlight filters through the planet's atmosphere. By analyzing this filtered light, scientists can determine what gases are present. In the case of this newly observed exoplanet, the results were shocking. Oxygen, methane, and water vapor, all gases that are closely linked to life on Earth, were detected. The simultaneous presence of methane and oxygen is especially significant. These two gases naturally destroy each other over time. Their coexistence in a stable atmosphere suggests an active, ongoing process that replenishes them, potentially a biological one. The planet orbits within the habitable zone of its star, the so-called Goldilocks zone, where temperatures are just right for liquid water to exist. It's rocky, similar in size and composition to Earth, and may even have a protective atmosphere capable of supporting complex weather systems. Computer models suggest that this planet might have temperate climates, stable day-night cycles, and even a magnetic field, protecting it from cosmic radiation. It's the most Earth-like candidate we've seen so far, and its conditions align closely with what we consider necessary for life to emerge. But let's be clear, we're not talking about alien civilizations yet. The 99.7% figure refers to the probability that this planet can support life, not that it already does. That said, this is the strongest case for extraterrestrial habitability we've encountered to date. Astrobiologists have long considered the presence of biosignature gases, especially combinations like methane and oxygen, to be the holy grail in the search for life beyond Earth. These gases don't last forever in an atmosphere unless something or someone is producing them. On Earth, these gases are the byproducts of life. Plants and photosynthetic microbes produce oxygen, while bacteria and other organisms release methane. While there are some non-biological processes that could generate these gases, the specific balance seen here is extremely unlikely The discovery has sparked a wave of excitement in the global scientific community. Dr. Elena Vasquez, an astrobiologist at the European Space Agency says, this is the closest we've ever come to finding life beyond Earth. We're seeing clear signs of a stable, life-supporting atmosphere. It's a thrilling time to be alive and looking up. NASA and other agencies are now focusing further attention on this planet. While the planet's official name has not been revealed to the public, researchers have already begun calling it New Eden due to its promising conditions. James Webb has done what it was designed to do, open a window into other worlds. But this is just the beginning in the coming years, new telescopes like Louvoir and Habex will take over the search, with instruments capable of directly imaging the surfaces of exoplanets.